Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning into your bonus April love reading. Really do appreciate you joining me. Um, I hope everyone is keeping well. I hope everyone is looking after themselves and each other. Um, this will be a reading centered on Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, having a look to see what's coming up around you in regards to love uh, and, and see sort of the energies or things you could potentially expect in the month of April. So let's have a look and see what's coming up for you, Scorpio, during this time. Four cards for the sign of Scorpio. Wow, okay, two, nine, six of cups and the hangman. Okay, something that you've been waiting a very long time for is about to come true for you. You've been waiting a long time for this, Scorpio, and it's almost like your wishes are coming true around a relationship, around a person. This is a very beautiful energy. Um, if you're wanting to meet someone, you're going to meet them. If you want someone to come back from your past, they're going to come back from your past. If you want someone, someone to be more romantic, there's a lot more romance that's coming in. Um, could even be a past life connection that's hovering around you, lingering around you. But look at that. You've got two nines here. This is very powerful. You're completing a new phase in some sort of relationship or you're going to come to a phase where you're very, very happy. So you've been waiting a long time for something here, Scorpio. And I think a lot of you are about to find your happiness in April. You know, this is this is powerful stuff at play here. This is powerful energy around you, Scorpio. Wishes are being fulfilled. Things are falling back into order. All, it's almost like order is restored. So if there has been a bit of chaos, if you've experienced silent treatment or you've given someone the silent treatment, you know, if you've punished them in some way, this is about to change. If you felt, you know, uh, discarded, if you felt upside down, if you felt not yourself, if you've been in that hangman position, which we do feel at least one point in time or another in our lives, Scorpio, I'm hopeful that this is about to turn around for you. Um, you know, this is introverted energy. So I feel like if you have been experiencing things that have been a little bit upside down in your relationship, if there's been delays or someone's been slow to act, um, this is about to change. You know, the Six of Cups is here. You're creating some beautiful memories, possibly revisiting some memories. It could also be that someone's quite nostalgic over you. Um, there could be talks of family, family planning, children, grandchildren, um, introducing someone to your family. This is around family and the home. Um, but it can also be romance. It's almost like spring, summer, you know, the darling buds of May, uh, to quote Shakespeare. But it's very beautiful and it's a very whirlwind energy, Scorpio. And I think you're very deserving of it. There's something that you're going to experience with a person in the relationship. It's almost going to make you feel like a child again. It's going to make you feel giddy. It's going to make you feel excited. It's going to make you feel, like I said, like, like a child, um, but in a good way. You'll feel free. You'll feel happy. You'll feel liberated. There could be a very nice gesture or someone does something for you, and it could be like they pamper you. It could be like they spoil you. Um, it might be something you're not really expecting. But boy, are you going to be happy with the outcome here, Scorpio. This is very beautiful. Look at that Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful card of complacency and being very present in the moment. Um, I think you're coming into a relationship where I think you're starting to leave behind presumptions, anxieties, and possibly what didn't serve you in the past. You know, if you think about the hangman here, he's possibly reflecting on the things he did wrong that got him in this position. And... You know, that the, the martyr's halo around him, I feel like this is inspiration or a light that's coming to you. And I feel like there could be healing of trauma from the past, abusive relationship, toxic energy, forgiveness, forgiving yourself. And as you do this internally, Scorpio, you're going to see those internal changes, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to work on, self-growth, you know, heal from insecurity, heal from anxieties, heal from toxic energy. This is really going to help your relationship. 
It might be more internal and you might be doing it more for you. But what you're going to see in the relationship, you're going to see wonderful changes here. But, you know, you've got the, the dream card, the wish card. So wishes are coming true in relationships. But I feel like because the hangman can represent delays, it's something or someone you've been waiting a very long time for. And I wouldn't be surprised if this person ends up being involved in your family, okay? Um, you end up having children or you end up building a family or blending families. Um, or you end up settling down. You know, it's a card of familiarity here, Scorpio. So I think for a lot of you, what's happening here is the person that you're meeting or connecting with is going to give you a lot of romance. And the early stages are happening now. So even if this is a relationship you've had or a connection you've been dancing around for X amount of time now, uh, be it in your recent or distant past, what's about to take shape in this relationship is going to be truly magical. So I feel like this is the developments that you're going to see are truly magical and there's definitely this beautiful wish, whatever it is that you're wishing from this person, for them to become, for them to do for you, you're going to see it. And because you are the cups, and, and two of the four cards are cups energy, you're going to be feeling pretty damn good here, Scorpio. So it's very good to see. I guess some good news for you uh, during this time. But thank you so much for checking in, and we shall be in contact very soon. Thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.